Welcome to the GEMDS video training series. In this video, I'll show you how to configure the DHCP server feature on the Orbit MCR. The Orbit MCR's DHCP server feature is a service and can be enabled to serve IP addresses to connecting DHCP clients. In fact, multiple DHCP pools can be set up at once, each having its own unique subnet. However, before the DHCP server is enabled, each DHCP pool has to have one of the Orbit MCR's interfaces in its subnet. I'll go over more of what that means in a minute. An example need for multiple DHCP pools is such. Your Orbit MCR has a group of similar hosts connected off of each Ethernet port, as well as a third group that connects via the Wi-Fi access point. You want to give each group a different subnet so that you can manage IP addresses and how data flows in your network. To accomplish this task, you'll have to configure the Orbit MCR's DHCP server to have three V4 subnets, each with their own IP address ranges. Like I mentioned a minute ago, before saving a DHCP server configuration, it is required to have an Orbit MCR interface within the subnet of each DHCP v4 subnet. Think of it like this. If you plan to give out 192.168.1.0/24 IP addresses off of your ETH1 port, then configure Orbit MCR's ETH1 interface to be in that subnet. In the example shown here, each DHCP pool has an Orbit MCR interface within the v4 subnet and is actually configured as the router IP address. Therefore, each DHCP client's default gateway will point back to the Orbit MCR. Now let's set this up using the Orbit MCR's web GUI. I have included the planned DHCP configurations to configure on the left. Log in as admin and on the left, click Services, then DHCP Server. Click Basic Config, then V4 Subnets. To create a V4 subnet, click on Add, and then enter the V4 subnet that will be used for the first DHCP pool. Then press Add. Enter the remaining information as best fits your system. I will continue to use the example pool of IP addresses. When finished entering in the required information, click Finish. You can then click Add to enter the remaining v4 subnets. I will save time and fast forward the remaining DHCP pools I need for my system. Going back to the v4 subnet dropdown displays the three DHCP pools as just configured. Before saving, enable DHCP Server and make sure you have an interface in each of their subnets. Going back to the home screen, ETH1, ETH2, and the Wi-Fi interface each fits into one of the configured v4 subnets. Now let's take a look at configuring this using the console. Log in as admin and enter configuration mode. The command is simply set services DHCP v4 subnet, followed by the specific IP parameters from each v4 subnet. Pressing the tab during this entry will bring up the list of available parameters for configuration. I'll quickly fill in the last two pools as the command structure is the same. To verify the configuration, type show services DHCP. This will bring up the configured DHCP v4 subnets and should look similar to what is displayed on our notes to the left. When it's satisfied, commit the configuration. I hope this video was helpful for you, and for additional information, visit our website at www.gemds.com.